solving the matter is of paramount importance utmost importance however at times it is not going to be possible when people are so divergent one would wonder what is it were we really ever in love did we really ever get together in the name of Allah sometimes you wonder and I want to go beyond that to show you that we would need to maintain family ties with a divorced spouse whom we have children with to a degree based on what is better for the children it is also becoming increasingly common for one of the parents to use the children as a weapon against the other be it the mother or the father remember it's your duty not just as a muslim even as a human being as a parent unless there is definitely reason to protect the children from the abuse of that particular parent you should always try and facilitate the relation children may suffer what is known as parental deficit where it plays out in their lives sometimes sooner or later and if you go back to the root of it it was because you prohibited them from communicating with the other parent. so don't do that part of your duty as a believer is to understand if i've had children with someone come what may up to the age that they are on their own i would have to have something to do with this ex-spouse of mine by virtue of him or her being a parent who shares the same children. Wow. Just wow. Subhanallah. Let's never ever hear about any one of us using children as a weapon because in that case, you are actually causing harm to the children even if you think you're not. It was Allah who decided, Allah chose, you did have an issue. Before going through divorce, consider what exactly you're getting yourself into. In some cases, if the marriage was difficult, the divorce is even more difficult. Because it happened for reasons that were solvable, resolvable. You had issues that were resolvable, but you didn't. May Allah Almighty grant us ease.